Okay, I'm going to do a live video of our booth at Scott's Antique Show Saturday afternoon at 5.05. Our booth goes way down there and way back there. Dad bought a piece of furniture. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> That's all right. I bought some stuff too. Now, on the table, these are going to be all Giclée reproductions. And there's a mix of framed antique prints and framed Giclée prints on the wall. It just depends on what you're looking at. So, as we're going down these stacks, the Giclées, such as this one right here. Now, this is 12 by 16 inches. There are 46 different images in this set. They should be all on our website. If they're not, email me and I'll, I'll add them to it. Here we have Audubon's uh, male and female turkey. And then we have Noseman's uh, turkey and pheasant. These are originals. The original prints of that caliber are, they're high. They're not cheap, but they're awesome. And then this is our sea life area of Giclays. We have a great set of Scottish Highlanders. Then we have uh, some bones images. There's some botanicals. If you see something you like, just take a screenshot. I'd be happy to uh, to get you more information. Now, if you need maps, we have maps. So here is Savannah at 32 by 40. Here is at 12 by 16 inches. This is Atlanta from 1925. This is Atlanta from 1892 at 32 by 40 inches. So if you need a map, we specialize in not only making antique maps, or giclées of them, but we also uh, we also make maps of uh, neighborhoods and lakes. This is a great series by uh, James Cooper out of Sussex, and those are all original pastels from forty-five to sixty-five dollars, done from the forties to the sixties. That's a great series. Over here, we're going to have some Denton fish framed up. I have a really cool lobster. Check out this frame. This is by another uh, dealer that's come up to Scott's Antique Show where he used an actual lobster trap to make that frame. And then uh, if you're interested, I'll make you a good deal on that guy. Here's some Audubon birds. Now we sell the Audubon birds in various sizes. Uh, here is the great blue heron done by Audubon. And then there is the blue heron done by Selby. No one else has this combo. And that looks great. Now, typically, I'm gonna I'm gonna set them up like this so that move these guys around. I'm gonna put them like that on a wall. But art's different for everybody. Um, so if you don't like that, you can, we have a lot of stuff. Here's some lions and tigers and cats. And these are all antique prints on these tables. And in the booth, all of the antique prints. We try to price them in the bottom right hand corner. It doesn't always work. Like these are Schubert's from 1886 and they range from $25 to $45. It just depends on how beautiful or ugly the image is in our opinion. Uh, check out that watercolor. So this is an original, sorry, pastel from 1930. It's very pretty. And then all of these are antique prints. This is such a beautiful series of mushrooms this is called the mushroom atlas and these are all hand colored stone lithographs i believe it's from around 1840. But look at that watercolor work on that thing gorgeous now these these range in price from 75 dollars to about 150 for the uh, most beautiful images here we have a set of alban birds that's a pretty cool set uh there's more in that series. I call that Alban Up Close. Here's some more in the series framed uh, with a barn wood molding. Some fishing flies and bats. Then we have patterns on the tables. And then we're going to check over here. Add some Varga girls. And then some Seagies. I'm going to walk over here and check out this set of antique frames. Now these are all antique frames with either Giclée reproductions or original antique prints in them. All of the prints on this table, they're all antique, original uh, prints. Like here's a here's a magazine with some Morris birds in them framed up in a uh, 
in an ornate gold. Here it is in simple gold. And it's just kind of giving you a way to, to look at all these eggs that we have and, and give you some ideas and inspiration. You can buy these prints here at the show for $45 each. And it's beautiful watercolor work on a stone lithograph. I'll have some on the website as well. So these are all antique prints on this table and on the next table. All the prints here, and it depends on the series. Like these are uh, these are done around the 1780s. Miller Botanicals. These are Elizabeth Blackwell from 17 uh, 1764, I believe. For the wait, this is the German edition, so it's yeah, it's around 1764. I forget some stuff towards the end of the day. These are German medicinal plants from 1828 and they're hand colored stone lithographs. Here we have some original Bessler botanicals. This is what it, some of them would look like framed, but they're gorgeous from 1713. Then I'm just going to show these dogs on this wall real quick. And all the prints on the table are antique. If you see something you like, just let me know. In a, in a text or an email, best to email me. Here we have some rudeback birds. Well, I thought you guys left it. And then let me just go through oh, here. No, we came back. <laughs> Here's some patterns. That's a great series by Sigi. And here we have some Indians. Sorry for the glare. And some Kate's bees and some birds in black forest frames. And all the prints here are antique as well. Check this guy out. That's a wonderful antique frame right here. That's beautiful. That's just awesome awesome piece as well as this mark catesby uh carolina parakeet or parrot have some sea geese over here here's doug's booth if you want some fish stuff is that what you call it doug fish stuff yeah. if you want shells or coral you can uh, doug campbell comes up here once a month and these two boats very beautiful they're not light, I can tell you, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> but, but they are they really, float. they're really cool. They float. Yep, they can float right into your decor in your restaurant or house. And I'll, I'll let you see his card. That's, you, that's Doug Campbell right there. If you need some, uh, if you need some nautical stuff. Here we have some more antique frames. And I love this frame right here. I think I showed that in post. That's an amazing piece. Here we have a set of six shells. A set of 12 baronial halls. This is an Italian veneer molding and it's, it's like a very, it's dark green, almost black. You can just barely see a hint of green in the frame. Set of Claude Lorraine's. It's a really cool mirror. Some antique frames here. Here's some deer heads. Now, I believe I have these bones on our website, but maybe not. There should be 16 or 24 different images, and they are 12 by 16 inches at uh, $45 each. Um, you can't get these anywhere else because I, I made them, unless somebody's selling them for me. All right, and these are all giclés on the table. And here we have some original Thomas Lord Ducks, those are hand colored with watercolor and it, the engravings were done in 1791. Next to them are two original John Gould Ducks and then a mixture of 
antique prints and G clay reproductions on this table. Let me come down here to my favorite mirror. I really don't want to sell this, but I do love it. So that's an old painting on wood. And that's just gorgeous to me. Everybody likes something different, but I love that one. Oh, here's some uh, here's some fun carnival posters. These are 20 by 40 inches. You have the frog playing the red guitar, a guy with a um, some mandolin, and then uh, puss in boots, and then a skeleton. Here we have an original poster of Noah's Ark, and then I'm just going to try to go through this real quick to show the the frames and the prints at the same time. Uh, if you have any questions about anything you see or you want any more information, just send me an email. Sorry if I keep saying that. It's late in the day. These are called uh, Shaw Nodder Butterflies. It's a very popular series, 12 by 16 inches, $45 each. Then we have Seagy butterflies, Abbott butterflies, and here's Marion, and this is uh, Moses Harris butterflies. I don't know what kind of butterflies you like, so I try to have all of them. That's an awesome pair of antique frames. It's $11.95 for the pair, and this antique frame is absolutely gorgeous, and that is, that is a large frame. I need to put the sizes of these frames on here, so I apologize for that. Then I'm going to walk us to the back real quick and go through uh, at Riz's booth. There's some butterflies. If you need some carpets, we have Rizza right over here. And then here's a great set of block fish. There's 500 and something fish from this series. We have a couple maps. Behind here is the $10 print table. No, this is a sale table with some great dogs. Those dogs are $3.45 each. It's a really nice uh, molding. And they are, uh, I believe the print size is 18 by 24. So then the, the image is with the frame is a little bigger. Everything on this table is going to be $10. And I, I ran out of uh, energy setting up that table. Here we have a 40 by 60 Audubon with some sea life. And then over here we have two 40 by 60 seaweed. And a really cool set of Seba sea life. An octopi. We have a couple pieces back here. And then here is uh, Jubin's booth with some of his rugs. Let me see your card real quick. I'll just come over here. And Jubin and Riza are two of the nicest rug dealers. And I'm blessed to have them both as uh, neighbors. So that's pretty cool. There's the 40 by 60 seaweed print. And then over on this wall, and I apologize for the mess. I got too tired to finish. Look at that. Uh, Look at that grape. That's gorgeous. And here's a 40 by 60 Louisiana Heron. Now this has non-glare glass. So you can see how you can see the glare on this glass over here from the lights that are that are up above. And there's so many. But here you just don't see that glare. And that's one of the advantages of having non-glare glass. It just diffuses that uh, a lot. Now you can see it now. But, but really in a room it's so nice having... Uh, non-glare when it's when there's a lot of light in the room all right i appreciate everybody watching the video i know i didn't get through all of the booth and you'll have a great night